Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, Hallie. Welcome, my loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining me on this beautiful, beautiful day. Hello. I am coming to you from busy, busy, bustling New York. So I hope that um, you guys can hear me okay. So today we're talking about the sixth key to awakening your sexuality power and specifically talking about our third eye chakra. And our third eye chakra is where our intuition lies. Vegas in the house, welcome my love. Thank you for joining me. And in order to begin, I really want us to um, just take in a deep breath together. So deep breath in and exhale. Let's do one more breath in and exhale. And last time, deep breath in. And exhale. So, so wonderful. So let's talk intuition because this is really, um, my intuition is actually one of the things that has helped me the most in connecting to who I am, connecting to source and really bringing my vision and my passion to life and that is definitely the work that I, I want to support you all in is really stepping into your power and intuition is one of those things that really allows you to build trust and faith and um, you know um, that inner knowing that it's all working out and it's all working in your favor so I definitely want to help you build that and give you some really concrete things that you can do to help connect to your own intuition. And the first thing, the first thing that I want to say to you all is that we all have it. Um, you know, I, I've definitely been told like, oh, you're really intuitive and I'm not so intuitive. We're all really intuitive. We all have this amazing power of intuition and what's really um, you know at play here is that sometimes we're just not aware or, or listening to that inner guidance um, so we're gonna talk more about how to connect to that inner guidance how to tell if you are out of alignment in this and some more fun facts about this chakra so to begin, the color uh, most associated with this chakra is the color of indigo. And here we have our little indigo candle. So we're gonna burn it. And just visualize the energy from this candle really supporting us in our connection to our chakra. Awesome. So let's talk some other things. So the color indigo is like the first thing that we can start to incorporate um, into our lives, right? There's different stones in, in that deep blue color. Um, and then there's also the color, you know, in our wear. So we can really incorporate that. And I'm actually wearing a little bit of indigo today. So it just worked out that way. <laughs> Um, and I'm wearing, you know, the blues. Um, so really, that's, a, that's, I think, the easiest way that I've learned to be able to connect with our intuition and really boost up that chakra. It's just, and any chakra for that matter, is by incorporating more of that color into your life. So how to tell if there's an imbalance, right? We all want to know how can we tell and what can we do? And the first, first, first big sign is that if you're actually constantly in, in rational mind thinking, right? Um, or, or if you're feeling really confused, um, really um, heavy, like heavy mind, um, overwhelming thoughts, that is a really big sign that there's a lot happening. Um, another um, sign that I have personally experienced is if you're getting a lot of headaches 
if you're getting a lot of headaches um, and or you're really having a hard time sleeping um, to me that's a that's an automatic indicator that something is maybe wanting to be expressed through you um, or you know you're really not connecting to your intuition and there's something just lying there that's kind of um, nagging at you on on some level um, wanting to be heard so that's those are some of the signs and I want you to really be honest with yourself to know if you're in this state right if your thoughts control you you don't control your thoughts this is a, an, an imbalance um, and one of the things is like you know let's not make ourselves wrong for it is you know it's not to be wrong it's just like a thermometer right it, it gives us an indication it's like that light going off saying hey this needs attention right so it's it's our um, blessing to really um, dedicate time and energy to boosting up this chakra so how can we do that how can we boost up this chakra so the first first thing I said is the color right so incorporating more of this color also you can listen to um, cosmic music and um, I really enjoy uh, kind of like electric dance music it really gets me connected to my third eye and um, stuff just starts flowing for me a bit more and one of the things I want to talk about in regards to the third eye chakra is that it really supports when there is a need for healing um, you know uh, living in illusion and not really knowing the truth of who you are as a divine being and co-creator here on this planet it really helps in the healing to work with the heart chakra so a lot of the time you you want to match that up right so connecting that um, that expression of love with your intuition and that is why when you look at the seven keys to awaken your sexual power one of the one of the tips that I, I recommend is asking yourself for any single question right anything that comes up for you that you're like oh I don't know what to do asking yourself what would someone who loves themselves do right because that automatically connects us from our intuition from that vision that inner knowing of source and, and that connection straight to our heart and we flood it with love right and we're coming from a place of truly connecting to our heart center which is a powerhouse right so really really connecting to that question what would someone who loves themselves do how would someone who loves themselves answer this question how would someone who loves themselves show up in this periscope right like how would you live your life and how would you be in this world if you were living a hundred percent of the time this day from a place of loving yourself that is really um, a powerful way to connect to that heart um, and, and begin the healing through the third eye some other things I want to talk about is you know I love 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 chanting and the mantra for this is sham s h a m so I want to go ahead and just chant a little bit really get us to connect to this third eye and see if it, it opens up for you so I invite you hello Shariza I invite you all to really join me in enchanting sham s h a m and connecting to that so let's begin deep breath in sham sham wonderful so 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 wonderful 
So I definitely felt a lot of light coming through and um, tingling sensations in my third eye. It actually felt really funny. Um, so I invite you to really step into chanting the word sham and connect to that real intuition that lies within you. Um, so that's one small thing that you can do and three times is enough to really feel it. Um, it doesn't have to be this long period of time chanting. It was amazing, yay! <laughs> Right? Um, so some other things, jasmine, mm, such a yummy, yummy scent and such a yummy um, flower. And jasmine is something that you can use to really help boost your connection to this chakra. Um, some additional things, I know the stone sapphire is, is really important, lapis, um, but another one that I like to use is just clear quartz. And I know a lot of us have clear quartz, so I wanted to talk about this because this is actually a stone that can be used for any of the chakras. And I like to use it for, um, along with amethyst actually, for my third eye, but it also helps with the crown. So one of the things I, I work a lot with between the crown and um, the third eye. So just inviting you to really step into using um, clear quartz for the, this chakra specifically. Um, so that is the stone that I would recommend and in terms of fruits and, and foods that you can eat, anything with a dark blue like blueberries, blackberries um, are, are really yummy. Um, so any blue fruit um, and dark vegetables are going to be your best friends when working with the intuitive chakra. Now I want to talk about meditation because meditation is actually the chakra size um, on top of lucid dreaming and you know lucid dreaming um, not all of us can master that and not all of us are, are drawn to that but I know a lot of us are drawn to meditation and I really want to encourage us to step into meditation and to let go of this idea that you can get it wrong or that it has to look a certain way. All of that is just the, the human mind um, resisting. Resisting what is and, what, and, and the possibility of really tapping in to that inner knowing through meditation. So I invite you to, even if it's 30 seconds, to try some form of meditation. And there's so, so, so many forms out there. I mean, go on YouTube and type in meditation and you'll see like 5 million different videos pop up. And I, I have to say it's been a learn, um, a trial and error learning process for me. Um, so I invite you to really take that as an adventure and go on this um, inner journey to see what type of meditation really works for you. Because once you find that, that sweet spot in meditation, it really um, opens up so much for you. Um, you know, some people really enjoy vis visualization. Some people enjoy heart rhythm meditation. I really enjoy heart rhythm meditation. Um, I also really enjoy guided meditations. Those really light me up. And I invite you all to just experiment with meditation because that is one of the fastest ways that you can connect to your intuition and that can bring so much clarity to, to you, to your purpose and really to stepping into your power. So I invite you all to, to do that. And um, you know, the last tip that I'm, I'm gonna say is that faith, right? Having that, that deep sense of faith in yourself right sometimes we look so much outside of ourselves you know oh I, I have faith in God and and little faith in in yourself um, not knowing right that we are one with God we are one with source so really having that deep sense of faith in your intuition um, it's a muscle that you build it doesn't just you know pop up out of nowhere but I definitely invite you to step into that and begin to work that muscle. Begin to, each day, by asking yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? You're gonna continue deepening 
that inner love and, and that inner knowing and that connection to self and that trust and faith that really comes with that. So that is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed that. I know I did. And I cannot wait to really embark on a deeper journey using the chakra system with you all in an upcoming program that I will be offering. So thank you, thank you, thank you all for being here with me. Don't forget you can claim your seven keys on my website, sexualitypower.com. And until tomorrow, you are so welcome, my love. Um, have a great night. Have a passionate night. Bye.